you hear something running in the background, it's my heater. This has started to become a little bit of a headache. So, my new i5 CPU that I just bought, it's dead. It doesn't work. I'm a little bit pissed off about that, but that's that's a whole nother story. No problem. I'm gonna stick the i3 back in it and we're gonna keep going. Let's see what we can do. We gotta do a little case modding. We gotta do a little bit of this. I gotta start laying some things out. I still have to wait on a whole bunch of crap to show up in the mail. Um, that stuff is as far out as a couple of weeks since a lot of it is coming straight from China. Um, so yeah, I appreciate y'all's patience with me on this build. But anyway, let's um, let's do some. Good thinking. Like, I have to do this in stages, okay? Enable for me to successfully do this, it has to be done in stages. Now, I was going to put the motherboard in, alright, and then do some other things, but then I was like, wait a minute, I'm going to carbon fiber wrap this in the back. So, I can't do that until I get the carbon fiber wrap. And then I was like, well, wait a minute, I'm going to have to modify this back panel back here so it will hold this reservoir, you know, so it will hold it. So, that means that... I'll have to take it out, cut it, do a couple things, clean them, and then maybe wrap it once the wrap arrives. Um, and, I'm, and I haven't decided if I'm going to do hard tubing or soft tubing. I would like to kind of do a little bit of both. Like, I would like to do some hard tubing where it's going to show, and then where you won't see, make that soft tubing. But we gotta figure out where to put a pump, where to put this reservoir. I'm thinking about putting the reservoir and the pump like this. And then in between there, okay, I could have, in between here, I could have another valve that runs this way, like that. And that will be my drain valve uh, whenever I can, you know, drain this thing. This light right here is great, but I can't see. Okay, so, yeah, I'm not exactly sure. Uh, maybe I could hang the reservoir like that. Would that look cool? Maybe it'd be different because everybody puts their reservoir here in their builds. But here at ATEC PCs, we like doing shit differently. So I was thinking about putting the radiator here. But then I was like, wait a minute, dude. I have two of these. I have two of those. They're identical. Right? Here's the other one. Let's uh, unfold that. And I have two of them clips, which are over here. You got to be careful when you're playing with these little cheap plastic ones. They'll break on you. Okay, so look. Identicals. I could maybe run two of them at the top, but see if I ran two of them, then you would re then you wouldn't really see it unless the case laid on its side. Or I could do a reservoir here, and then maybe the second one down here, or put one. I could maybe put like one of them here, so it could sit like that. Uh, Dark Vader. Don't belong there. We'll set it to the side. And then something here. I'm not sure. But then here's my other issue. Here are the radiators. I have two of them. For some reason, I like to double up on everything. I don't know. But I have two radiators. The problem is, is that they're 240s. I need a 360 because if I run a 240 like that. I put a 240 in there. I have like this open space in the front and I don't exactly like that because when I put a fan in there you won't see it. 
So what I'm thinking about doing is getting a 360 millimeter radiator to go at the top. Okay, so I'll get one that will go at the top here. This is what I'm kind of thinking. I'll have the radiator at the top. Okay, here's the pump. Here's the reservoir. I think that they will sit against this back wall like that. And then the pump will sit here. And then the pump will run out and up. Because the only thing that we're going to cool is the CPU. That's the only thing we're going to water cool is the CPU. So I could do like one or I could do it the other way. I could put the pump on top. I could put, instead of the pump and the, being like that, I could take it and put it on top. Like that maybe, flip it, I don't know. I don't know if it'll run that way. It may only run one way. I know it can run sideways. So maybe I could, oh boy. See, it really starts to complicate things when you want to water cool stuff. It just completely starts complicating things. And then on top of that, all of the fittings that I have are barbed fittings. I need compression fittings. So that's more money. I was looking at the parts list. I like the parts that I need to complete this and I'm in the $230 range already. And I haven't even got got where I need to be on this build yet. So I'm hoping that I'm talking loud enough and you guys can hear me. So if we were to rotate this pull that out. Rotate it, okay? Here's my Here's my other dilemma. Dilemma. Okay. The power supply is going to go here. Cables and everything. But what I was thinking was that, you know what? This me having hard drives right here is going to cause an issue. For a couple of reasons. One, I may run out of room with everything. All of the cables and wires, all the LEDs, I mean just everything that's going in here, um, it needs to go somewhere. Also, this right here could be used for extra space for me. So basically what I'm saying is, is that I could put the reservoir at the top, run a tube down into the floor and maybe run it a different way, or I maybe not that. Hold on, sorry, that's a little confusing what I just said. It don't make sense. I know. Or I could leave the top alone. Okay, well, I shut my light off. I could leave the top alone. Okay, no, no 360 radiator at the top. Okay, but we have a 240. All right, I could put the 240 in. All right, so the 240 is in. That's how it will sit, okay? But we'll, if I put that there, what do I do with the rest of it? Because if I put the pump and the reservoir there, I mean, that's not a lot of airflow. You know what I'm saying? Let me back it out a little, right there. Okay, so this space right here, this little tiny space that you can barely see, that's in between here and there, that is not enough for air. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, not like that, I don't even know if I can get a fitting in there. Okay, so I could, I could take the fan out like this. Hold on. I could take it out, instead of it being on that side, I could reverse it, so now the radiator would be, but don't pay attention to this because these will go the other way. I have to take the fans off and reverse it. But let's just say that that's how you ran it then. Okay? Like that. That's where it's going to sit. The only way that this thing gets air is from down here. This first fan is the only one that really makes air. Once I modify it, 
then this one will also make air. But as of right now, it's only the one that does it. But my question is, is you know, do I? What do I do here, guys? Do I put the radiator in the front or do I put it in the top? Should I buy a 360 radiator to go up here? Okay, that's what I'm kind of leaning toward. Is getting the 360 radiator up here, running the pump and the reservoir right there, running it like that. That's my idea behind it. Um, I'm going to do a little case modding today. Um, basically, where the front meets, these are the two front panels here. Whoops, sorry, I'm all in your way. These are the two front panels, this one and then this one. As you can see, no air is going to get through this. Well, when these two pieces meet, okay, like that, there's only like that big of a space for air to kind of go up this swoop and into the case. So instead of modifying the front of this, because I would like to keep the front pristine, I was thinking about, whoa, pristine if I cannot drop it. I was thinking about cutting this part out, making it bigger, so that way air doesn't have to just go up that way, it can just go straight in. Because we're going to need as much as airflow in the front as possible. I'm also debating on if I should cut some holes in the side here, or maybe I should just kind of cut that lip right there off. It's because on the front, you'll see it like that, and even on this side, you'll see it like that. But this side, you will not see because that will be facing, you know, away against the wall or whatever. So I'm thinking about cutting that lip out. But as you can see, that lip does not interfect with the, the clips that hold it on. So I could actually remove that piece right there. And that right there will allow a whole other slot of air to be pulled in. I was also looking at the top. Unfortunately, this whole thing... The top piece, it has a lip, so it sits right on top of it. So there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, but I'm definitely liking the blue and green color scheme. See, I'm going to run like a blue and green. So you'll have like, like a green and blue reservoir look. You know, it'll look cool. And then also this right here, this thing, this is what's going to go under the, the frame. It's going to sit under the case to give it like a glow. Alright, so what I have to do is I, I, I unfortunately I don't have enough parts to, to start. I don't have the water block to start on the motherboard. I don't have the carbon fiber wrap to start on the case. And I don't have a, a big enough radiator to figure out how I'm going to run this. On top of that, I don't have enough green fans, so I'm going to have to order another set of green fans. As I was going through my stuff and look, I found another one. I had no idea that I had three of the same reservoirs. Like at all. I actually thought I threw away this one. Um, but apparently, no, nope, I still have them all. So, I guess it's good to have backups, maybe. <coughs> is modify this front piece because that's really the only thing I can do right now. Uh, like I said, I'm still waiting for parts. Damn, I mean, there's just all kinds of stuff going on. I don't know. Leave me a like, guys. I appreciate your time and your energy. We will continue this build eventually and we will get it done. And you guys will like it. Um, just kind of stay with me on it. You know, there's just a couple of things. Wait, waiting on the mail, waiting on paycheck, um, I have to pay my mortgage and insurance, you know, um, I have a buddy, um, Dakota, he has a bunch of computer stuff that I need to buy from him, but that's three and four hundred dollars worth of stuff, um, and I need to get that together, so there's just a lot going on right now that I'm trying to juggle and able to get this built for y'all and for me, so yeah, I'll see you guys next time, peace.